This is Michael Great um, from Berlin. Hi, Ecamm fans and hi, uh, Mevo fans. Um, yeah, I want to, just to show you and have already shown you what I've set up uh, during the last days, combining a lot of stuff I have here on my uh, for years or for, for months. And now in lockdown mode, it's easy to just combine it. Um, long story short, let's just jump into the whole setup. Let's roll up the video again and I would explain what you see here. So uh, this is um, my Mac and uh, my Mac. This is my Mevo start cam. It's connected through the NDI wirelessly to my Mac. Here is the Pivo part. It's uh, connected as it holds my iPhone and I can rotate it via remote control. On the other hand, you see running Ecamm live and with a pro subscription. Um, beneath is my iPad working as a second monitor. Show me what I'm recording right now. Stream Deck with 15 keys. I have uh, put on commands for Ecamm. My mixer, Behringer connected through USB. My microphone, the Rode Pro Podcaster, Procaster, Procaster. And another iPhone, the iPhone SE connected through cable where I can show some stuff. So this is everything I have set up here. And um, to make it a little bit more clear, I have um, I have a graphic. I've created a graphic. So you it might be explained a little bit more. Um, so two iPhones, one running the NDI app. Uh, uh, I will show you all the details a little bit later. Uh, connected through Wi-Fi on the Pivo, um, then the second iPhone SE running an app called Shoot, Mevo connected as a webcam through NDI protocol, the iPad as a second screen here on screen sharing with, with the uh, Mac, Stream Deck connected through USB, and the great thing is if now with the Pro uh, subscription of Ecamm Live. I have the, op the, the, the uh, option to create a virtual cam from the whole output. And this virtual cam can be an input in any application uh, and can be used like another webcam. And therefore, I can integrate it in a Microsoft Teams live event as an input and have all the great stuff here from this um, eCam creation environment with text and with screens and whatever just lose it and input in microsoft teams i think that is a very great enhancement very cool stuff and um yeah come come on let's see let's go through all the uh, nifty components here it's not a recommendation that you have to use it but it's what it's here uh, for sometimes for for two years already and i'm using it and now in lockdown mode I had uh, time just to combine everything and find out if it works. So just uh, some ideas what you can do. So the Mevo Cam, Mevo Start is a new one. I had an, uh, the first one Mevo Cam, uh, the first Mevo Cam, ah, I have put it away. Sorry, it's not here. Um, I'm using Mevo, the first Mevo Cam since 2016. I have done lots of stuff on my YouTube channel. You find, I think, 80 recordings, live streaming um, with a Mevo Cam. And with Mevo, you can really have an app and you can stream from the cam to Facebook, to Restream, to any uh, or to other locations. And with the new start, um, you can also use it as uh, through the NDI protocol as a webcam. 
and they are working uh, to create a, a native Windows and Mac driver so you can really connect it by cable. Um, new camera, on that page you find more information will be available next month, uh, great stuff. Then the Pivo, this is a NAFT, it's a Kickstarter project. I bought, uh, I think, um, two or three years, uh, or two years ago, and I will show you my camera here. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, here, this is the Pivo cam. And now with my remote control here, with my remote control, I can <laughs> control this camera from far. The Pivo pod can do a lot of more of his pictures. And so um, just recommend to go there. Um, I have it for at least two years, never really used it. And so, well, it took me just seconds to integrate it. Next one, the Elgato Stream Deck. And here I can use my, this is um, very cool stuff. Uh, Elgato has pro produced uh, several uh, versions, I think three versions uh, with uh, different numbers of keys. This is a 15 key version. And on the key, I can put uh, commands for Ecamm on these um, keys here, and then I can switch maybe to full screen, um, to the presentation, and back to my iPhone SE for the camera. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Um, perfect. Next one. Um, yes, on the iPhone, there's running an app. Uh, using this NDI protocol. The NDI protocol is uh, some uh, protocol developed by NewTek, a video company. Um, I don't want to go into details. Uh, go on the site, they can download the drivers. It enables you to broadcast, to send video over um, TCP IP to your different uh, end points, whatever you want. Uh, for me, it's important that I can stream from my Mevo to uh, the Mac and from the iPhone. And on the iPhone, there's running a application, it's an app, it's called NDI NX Camera. Uh, and this is normally, it, it costs some money, but uh, NewTek has made it free for the next 50 or 60 days. Definitely recommend it uh, because uh, it's free and uh, whenever, maybe in future times, you will need an app um, for supporting of NDI. Uh, you have it. Same with the second application is also free. It's NDIX Capture. It captures the whole screen of your um, uh, camera and um, of your iPhone. And uh, you can do demos, uh, put it here directly into this stuff, cool stuff. Next one, Shoot Clean. This is the app that's running on, um, on my iPhone SE. Um, it's a very simple app. It just takes the picture or the image from your camera and send it to the USB port, uh, to the lightning port. And that's all, nothing more, nothing less, perfect, complete. There are several other apps where you can uh, grab the, um, the video or the image from your camera and send it to the PC. There's a link. It's, uh, it costs, I think, $3, $2.99 or whatever. Then of course Ecamm Live. I'm Ecamm Live user since 2017, where I bought uh, when uh, Ecamm was uh, still an app you can buy for, I think I paid $29.99 or euros, I don't know. And since then I'm using Ecamm Live, not very much for live streaming, but for recording. And um, as, as I mentioned yesterday, I upgraded to the pro plan. Uh, because I wanted to use all the additional stuff like the virtual cameras and uh, the NDI stuff and uh, especially the virtual cam to send the signal out to Teams. And within, I think, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, um, everything was running. That was great. And um, I don't know, no, uh, I don't want to go much more into detail because on Ecamm you find everything there and how to use Ecamm definitely go to Adrian and his YouTube channel with lots of best practice and how to's, how to configure Ecamm, how to use it. I really um, used his videos to set up my stream deck and get all the tips and the nifty things uh, that make it very cool. And it took me 30 minutes to switch here to my stream deck. And so I can switch to my mobile cam. I can set up here 
uh, all three cams. Does it still move? Yeah, it says move. Um, I can go to my intro slide. I can go to my video. I can go to my things. So everything's here on uh, the cam. So this is great. And of course, I have a YouTube channel. It's uh, from the Sharecom community. It's running for over 12 years right now. There's a playlist called hashtag shot with Mevo where you find uh, all my recordings uh, I've done with the older Mevo cam. Yeah, and uh, last but not least, let's see if it uh, if it works. Um, we go, I close this one here and I open up Microsoft Teams. So here, here you see Microsoft Teams. Uh, let me current let me zoom to the current application. And here is uh, Jetzt Besprechen. It's called uh, Start a Meeting Right Now. And as you see um, on the setup, here you see eCam Live Virtual Cam is now the camera. And everything I created here on eCam is directly sent to Teams. And it gets get a much more um, in, com compelling engaging cool crazy um front end for doing really great live streams uh, in microsoft teams live events that's it nothing more nothing less um, enjoy it uh, if you have any ideas comments um, it's not something you need to have but it's cool if you have time to just connect everything and find out if it works. So thank you to Ecamm, thank you to Mivo, thank you to all the people who shared their ideas and uh, helped me to set us up and uh, yeah, enjoy it.